Again, that's a great question, Pete, because personally, I struggle with online. So my own personal issues, to me, are actually something good because if I'm struggling then how then do other students feel particularly these mature age students whom we have a big cohort of so I again I'm a kiss keep it simple stupid approach and I don't mean that in a derogative way so my Moodle site is a very simple approach uh, everything is right there I put in strategies to say well what would I want if I was out there needing to find information easily and quickly and readily so I put in a variety of resources, including uh, the videos that I use in the labs. Um, I ask all my lectures to be taped, so then they are available on the Moodle site for my students. Additionally, prior to lectures, as I've previously stated, I have my PowerPoints up, and they are actually up at the beginning of term. So 12 weeks of PowerPoint lectures are ready for students to look at and access if they need to. Additionally, um, in my Moodle sites I have that chat line of course and if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So if I say to students it's a 24 hour turnaround, then I will do that and often they know that I sit at night and will actually engage during the evening. So And that caters also for my flex students who are busy working people. So the turnaround is there and I don't always get involved in all of their discussions but certainly those that are pertinent to me and I, or they need clarification and I often say to students you can be sitting at home for hours struggling over an issue you can throw it to me on Moodle or personal email and I will get back to you so I use that platform for that type of engagement now it's not always I'm not always there 24 hours a day so the other thing that I offer to students as a um, backup from that online learning of Moodle Facebook uh, um, platform is teleconferences and certainly with my cohort of students which I had approximately 400 students I ran uh, and of those there were about 150 flex students and so I ran three teleconferences with those students one at the beginning of term what is it that I expect from you um, how do you need to get involved what's the level of engagement expected uh, what's the assessment what's expected I then do another one prior to their exam so we have and uh, I have recipes for their exams and they have tips of the day and actually that's a quite interesting strategy because it also encourages students to be online, it also encourages students to come to the lecture but the funny part is at the end of the 12 weeks when they go back of the tips of the day for the exam they say Kerry it's the whole content. <laughs> So that's it's, it's certainly a simple strategy. Um, so again, the, the chat line, the resources that are available via video, uh, the lectures, um, and I guess uh, just generally being available for students when I say I'm going to be available. The other thing uh, that I, I'm open to if students are emailing and saying, could we have this or could you get access to that, then I will try and do that as well. Um, any of the resources that students need, such as websites, are there. Periodically there's challenges with those because websites might change and often uh, students will work out those things themselves and send the dialogue with other students. So, and then I'll congratulate those students for taking on that initiative as well. Um, so yeah, I try and keep the whole online resources simple. Additionally, to support the online resources, I develop up lab guides, study guides. Um, I send out a letter of uh, welcoming to my students at the beginning of term, again clarifying everything. And again, those students know that if they're struggling online, that I am there at the end of um, the telephone or on email.